Hi, this is Ben with Fiddler Shop. Very briefly, I'm going to show you how to remove a chin rest from your violin. So, a tool you'll need to do this is this right here. It's a chin rest adjusting tool. So, uh, before we go ahead and get started, the only thing I'm going to recommend is whenever you use this tool, you don't want to push this through all the way. You'll see there are holes here on either side of the chin rest. That's how you tighten and loosen. Now, when I put this through all the way, it's a little bit too far, and what can happen is when you tighten or loosen, it'll dig into the body of the instrument, and that's very difficult to blend in or make it look like nothing happened before. So what I actually do is put it in about halfway, give it a little bit of resistance, and then you just tighten or loosen. So it's righty tighty lefty loosey just like everything else. So I did three turns there. What you do to one side, you want to do to the other. That just makes sure that the pieces go in or go out in the same way. You want to make sure that it doesn't uh, go like that. One, two, three. If it's a little bit uneven, it's not a problem. You just don't want to completely loosen one and not the other. So, uh, you don't want to loosen it all the way because the pieces will actually fall apart and it's very difficult to put back together. But once you feel a little bit of resistance like this, you go ahead and pull and it comes right out. Sometimes you'll see cork here on either side sometimes on the back as well. This is completely normal. Not something you really need to worry about. As long as you're putting the same chin rest back on, you're not gonna have a problem. So let's go ahead and put the chin rest back on. Go ahead and line this up. Actually, let's loosen it a little bit more. So you went through all the way there, which we don't want. There we go. Then, we just go ahead and start tightening again. We just do what we did, just in reverse. Three, one, two, three, on either side. Now once I start to feel a little bit of resistance, that's when I check to see if it's tight enough. Now you don't want to make this too tight as it could cause damage to the top or the back of the instrument. So once I start to feel a little bit of resistance, I'll go ahead and give it a little pull here, a little pull there, and if it doesn't budge, you know it's tight enough. <laughs> 